investing into a night and thinking about that, there are a lot of variables that take uh, take place. Um, for starters, uh, you gotta look at what the area needs, um, what's what's lacking on certain days as far as like for your business. And then from there, uh, you get your team together, sit down, get a plan, plan in place and um, you execute it to you know, what you guys scoped in the beginning. And then as you progress through the uh, event or night, um, depending on how long it is, whether it's you know, one monthly thing or four weeks, um, you try to improve on it each, each time to make it to what you really want it to Ultimately, be. whenever you do events, um, it's gonna be a lot of first timers. So it's gonna be the same thing as like how you operate business. You wanna get them from the jump. You know, you want to show them a great experience, whether it's like, you know, what you expected. And, you know, some people have, you know, lower expectations um, for events, but they don't know what goes on. Um, all they know is they had a great time and they're going to want to come back for that, whether it's for that event or something in the future. So there are a couple of ways uh, that we do here um, to let people know about events and, and other, you know, things that are going on. Uh, one, it starts with our bartenders. Um, they're well versed as far as like what's going on during the week, um, things that you might not know. Um, they're quick to tell you if you're looking for something on a different day. Um, we have flyers all around the building to let, let you know about upcoming events. Um, you know, there's a, a code system downstairs that we use to shoot out emails, um, text messages about, you know, particular special events that we want you to know about. Um, and then, you know, other than that, just the word of mouth of just like, hey, and everybody that comes through just talking to them on a daily basis as far as like what they're looking for. Working with sponsors on events, um, particularly like reps. Um, one thing I've learned over the years is that not everybody is on the same calendar. Um, you have four quarters in a year. Um, reps have, you know, budgets and you kind of have to get them on the early aspect of things if you want to get your, you know, a bulk of their, I guess, sponsorship for your particular event. What it really boils down to, it's not a, there's no, Rhyme to reason. It's like you get them on the first of the quarter. Hey, I got this event. It's coming on. Do you want to do it? Are you, you know, can you do it? You know, and you just go from there. Just go uh, down. One the thing line. that reps look for into us as a venue is sponsoring their product, moving their product, obviously. Um, you know, giving, I guess, giving their product the best chance against everything else that's behind the bar. Instead of like, you know, for instance, somebody ordering a vodka, if the particular sponsor is a vodka sponsor everyone is wired to promote this first before any other vodka. Granted, there will be people that don't care about specials, they don't care about anything else, and they just want their particular, you know, their flavor of liquor. Um, but you gotta at least do your part. And I think that's what reps ultimately, like that's all they can do. Cause they're just, they're one person. And then we're, you know, it could be a team, a squad. It could be anywhere from five to 15 people. 15 people screaming out your product, you have a better return rate of people actually ordering it versus like one person just showing up for 30 minutes and then they're gone, you know, out of sight of my mentality. The most successful reps that I've, I've dealt with, they show up to all their events. They're there, they do everything that you need. They're basically your right hand uh, into the project, uh, start to finish. Um, I've dealt with reps that don't show up, you know, they, they set things up, but they're there or they're late or, you know, something came up or whatever. Somebody else comes to represent. But at the end of the day, the, the really good ones, they do the work. You know, it's not just like, hey, we made this plan, this date, and that's it. Set it and forget it. No, it's like the buildup. What else do you need from me? What else can I do? Um, you know, all those little things help you, I guess, separate yourself in the industry when it comes to like the reps and suppliers and, you know, people trying to push liquor, which is basically our, our line of work.